Hey guys, Samuel here with Mr. Jiggly Disc Golf. Uh, today I'm going to be going over what's in my bag for the early 2021 season. Um, I am still a beginner. started playing disc golf around September of 2020, so around five months ago. Um, however, when I would get on YouTube, I didn't see a whole lot of beginner in the bag videos kind of tailored to uh, beginner arm speeds. So today I just want to share with you what I've got in my bag and maybe help, um, make, help you make some um, choices in the future of what you want to put in your bag. So firstly, accessories. Um, I have my Dynamic Discs towel. I love it. I got it from the Dynamic Discs Northwest Arkansas store. Um, it clips here to my bag. It's always there when I need it. Uh, if it gets a little rainy, I might tuck it into the bag. But for the most part, it's just kind of always hanging out there ready to be used. Uh, second, in this pocket here, I keep a mask and a Sharpie. Uh, mask, COVID, you know, uh, this is kind of the world we live in today, so I just always want to be prepared if I need one. And then also Sharpie, I'm still a beginner, so I always try to put my name and number on my discs because um, I don't have a ton. So if I do lose one, I like to increase my chances of getting it back. All right, and then I always keep, uh, pretty much always keep a water bottle with me on the course. Um, just try to stay hydrated while I'm out there playing. Um, do not have anything in this pocket right now. I usually keep my minis in there, maybe one or two of them. Um, but I actually lost my minis doing some field work the other day, so I'm going to have to replace those and then they'll stay here in this pocket. And then last little side pocket here, I have some hand warmers. Uh, we were playing the Ice Bowl the other day, a charity event here in Northwest Arkansas, and it was pretty rainy and kind of cold, so those really came in clutch for me. Uh, and then lastly, I've just got like a little spray hand sanitizer. Um, again, COVID, just trying to stay as clean as possible. So now that um, that kind of stuff is out of the way, um, the meat and potatoes in my bag, um, put, we'll start with putters and I'll work my way up. So my putting putters, I'm uh, currently using Classic Blend Judges. Um, I really like this mold and this plastic. Um, it kind of has the, the tackiness of soft plastic, but the rigidity of hard. I really enjoy it. Um, these are pretty much brand new. Um, I was watching a In the Bag from AJ Risley, and I liked his idea that he keeps four putters. I'm gonna do three. Just kind of keep them in the top of my bag. And then every time I putt, I'll take use that putter put it on top and I'll take the next one the next time. That way these stay uh, relatively the same, a level of beat in, um, and I pretty much have three of the exact same putters. So we're gonna try that out here for this next 2021 season. Um, as far as throwing putters go, so I have a total of five classic blend judges in my bag, but these I have been using as putting putters, but since I got these, I like to throw the judge, but I haven't been doing it because I didn't want to beat up my putting putter. Um, so I typically, I'm going to use these as my throwing putters. When I throw the judge, these are a little bit beat in, so they'll flip up to flat and then kind of turn for me to the right uh, with very little to no fade. Uh, so it's a great disc for me. I love very straight flying. I'm really looking forward to start throwing these um, off the tee more often. So. All right, my um, go-to approach discs. These are um, Harps. This one's in VIP and then BT Hard. Uh, this was my first one, but it started to get pretty beat in. I hit a ton of trees very hard, um, and it just kind of started straightening out for me. So I went ahead and picked up a VIP, just hoping it would be a little bit more durable, and it is. Um, so if I need a straight approach shot, I will go to this, but most of the time, I throw my VIP harp, uh, kind of keep it out wide a little bit, and it will um, fade back and usually skip a little bit towards the basket. So it's been a very good asset for me recently. Um, so those are, that's kind of it for putters. Um, as far as mid-ranges go, um, I am converting all the way over to Trilogy. Love the company, uh, what the company does. So I was using a Buzz as my mid-range, but I have um, converted over to the Emac Truth. Just put this in my bag. I've only thrown it a few times. A few throws I have had with it, I really enjoyed. Um, I think it's going to be a great asset. Uh, this is actually a custom dyed uh, disc I did just a just uh, a few days ago. Um, it was kind of a pearl white color. and I think it turned out pretty well. So, uh, so you got Emac Truth, that's kind of my uh, in the middle, just trying to throw a straight disc uh, with a little bit of stability. And then my Justice. This is kind of one of my bread and butter mid-ranges. A lot of people use it as a utility disc, but um, 
here in Northwest Arkansas, a lot of the courses around here, I love to throw big hyzer shots, keep it out to the right, let it come back, maybe a little skip. Um, and it's super, super reliable um, in the wind or any weather conditions, I can count on my justice to do what I need it to. Um, this is also a little custom stamp job, put a little Superman symbol on there, it turned out pretty well. All right, and then kind of the opposite side of my mid-range game, this is my Fuse in Optoplastic. Um, I typically throw this a little bit of hyzer, it'll flip up to flat, and then most of the time it will just kind of gently turn to the right um, all the way to the end of its flight. If I have a little bit of a headwind, it will sometimes um, fade just slightly, but for the most part it's just going dead straight or just maybe a little bit of turn to the right. So this is kind of my um, mid-range disc if I need something, just again to go totally straight or maybe a little bit to the right. Alright, so that's kind of it for mid-ranges. Um, as far as fairway drivers go, one of my bread and butter discs, uh, the Felon, I love this, it's a fusion plastic. I will probably end up getting it in either Opto or Opto X plastic just to even increase the stability some more. Um, I love the, I'm sorry, in Lucid or Lucid X plastic. Um, I love the fusion plastic, but I hit a lot of trees and so it's getting pretty dinged up. So. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go Lucid or Lucid X just to one increase durability and two um, just a little bit more stability because I really like to throw this out wide and let it come all the way back and maybe even give me a little skip at the end. So um, the Saint Pro um, with the Dynamic Discs Northwest Arkansas store. I was looking for a fairway driver and um, the person working at the desk recommended this to me and I really have enjoyed it. Um, I have gotten it completely figured out. For the most part, I can throw it um, flat or maybe on a slight hyzer and it will go, maybe turn just a little fade back. Um, so it's kind of my uh, utility, just straight straight flight disc. Um, I turn it over more often than I should, so I'm still trying to get it figured out, but I think it's gonna do some pretty good stuff for me in the future. And then kind of my, this is almost a distance driver for me, but my musket, my wife got this for me for Christmas last year and I have loved it ever since. Um, the musket, I it's a 10 speed, so it's a pretty quick fairway driver. I throw it up on a little bit of hyzer and it will either go dead straight or most of the time it will flip up and then turn for me. So it's kind of like my fuse disc, but in my fairway drivers. So I get it to flip up and then kind of go right for me. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to do, but this is the, the one I have will do that for me. So. Um, yeah, lots of distance on this, very little fade, and uh, quite a bit of turn. So, really been enjoying the musket. And then lastly, I've got my, uh, this is actually my wife's Vandal custom um, die job. I pretty much exclusively use it for rollers. I'm not super good at rollers, and I don't try to do them a lot, but when I do, uh, this is typically the disc that I use it for. Um, and then lastly, I use four distance drivers. I've been trying not to throw distance drivers as much. I've really been trying to focus on my mid and uh, fairway game just because of my arm speed. Uh, but when I do throw them, uh, this is another custom dyed ballista. Uh, it's a ballista pro, I'm sorry. Um, typically, I'm either throwing this on a little bit of Anheuser or flat. Um, Anheuser, I'm just trying to get those um, S shots and then flat. I just need to go straight and then dump off to the left. And it does a pretty good job for me. Um, and then the Raider, um, I don't know if this is Moonshine or Lucid, um, but this was from a Glow in the Dark tournament they did here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. My wife picked this up for me, I think, at Played Against Sports. Um, this is kind of my auxiliary disc. I use this for like uh, grenade throws, thumbers, um, tomahawks, things like that. Uh, this kind of those non-conventional throws. This is what I'm reaching for. It does very well for me. It's pretty overstable and it gets the job done in that area. Um, this is kind of going to become my workhorse distance driver, uh, my go-to distance driver, the Sheriff. I was using a Nuke from Discraft, but like I said, I'm, I'm going all the way over to Trilogy. So uh, this is kind of my Nuke replacement and I have really enjoyed it so far. I've only thrown it a few times. Um, one of the throws went very, very well. The other turned over a little bit course to follow with my own uh, but I'm really looking forward to I think I'm probably gonna um, wipe the misprint stamp and, and custom die but I'm really looking forward to using this um, to get some pretty good distance out of it and then lastly I do have a trespass this is kind of my love-hate disc 
Um, it was one of my first distance drivers, and I do like some of the distance I can get out of it. However, um, when I first started, it was super overstable for me, and now um, I kind of turn it over a lot, so it, it, it's kind of touchy for me. Um, it, I have difficulty controlling it. I don't know if it's the disc, but it's probably myself. So Trespass, kind of love-hate, kind of hot and cold, stays in the bag, comes out of the bag, but usually I'm using something else. But every once in a while, it, I do find a, a spot for it out on the course. So that pretty much does it for my bag. Um, the bag itself, this is a Dynamic Discs Trooper bag. If you're looking for a review on it, I do have one as my latest video on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. I did a pretty in-depth review on it. Uh, this is probably the setup I'm going to do. I have a tournament coming up, not this weekend, the next, uh, next weekend, kind of at the end of February. Um, the Mud Madness Tournament at Lake Fayetteville here in uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and at Wax Hall, kind of the two local courses here. Um, so anyway, yeah, thanks for tuning in to Mr. Jiggly Disc Golf. Um, if you liked what you saw, if you would consider giving me a like, or uh, if you want to see more content like this, drop a subscribe for me. Um, and then if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Mr. Jiggly Disc Golf. Uh, and lastly, I, I showed you some of my custom dive discs, it's something I've kind of been dabbling in recently. If you're interested in seeing some more of that, uh, just drop a comment for me. Let me know that you're interested and we can make that happen. So again, thanks for tuning in to Mr. Jiggly Disc Golf and I'll see you next time.